knees like Megan, knees like Megan, knees like Megan. Uh, uh, uh. Habarigani Riches, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you my complete handbag overall. I have went through all of my handbags and gotten rid of some of the ones that I really wasn't wearing and I also changed them out for a lot of black owned handbag companies. So if you're interested in learning about the black owned companies that I support, the companies that I have purchased, they're also um, black owned and also some of them are just female owned companies. Stay tuned. Let's get into it. Even down to my luggage, I have changed that to an all black owned company. Okay, I want to start off with my most recent one that came in. I'm also going to put a picture right here as I talk about them. It is from the Brandon Blackwood brand. And I purchased this handbag. He had them on pre-order. You could get them in up to a hundred different colors it looked like. These are the End Systemic Racism bag, ESR, and I got mine in a like canvas. I actually used this purse today as I went out for my Mother's Day breakfast. It does have the feet on the bottom. I got it in the silver hardware. There we go. Again, I use this today so it has items in it, but you will get a strap with it. And it does come with a pocket. So this is my most recent find. Um, I purchased this bag because I am moving to a sort of this color or cream all the way down to white wardrobe. I'm trying to switch all of my clothes to that color. Again, they can be found on Instagram. My next is my luggage. And this, this is going to be kind of loud. But when you think about it, when you're at an airport, you want your luggage to kind of stand out so you can pick it up really quick. So I also purchased from the Tote and Carry Company. They had these items on sale. You can get them as a set. So I decided to purchase, yeah, Tote and Carry. This book bag, which I'm going on the plane, this book bag, along with this overnight bag or if you're taking a short trip this can actually be your bag that you use your carry-on bag and i know it's really loud i did this on purpose because if these bags are ever um on a luggage wheel you'll be able to find your bags really really quick it also comes with a nice shoulder strap so i replaced my luggage with a black owned company so yeah, I'm actually going on a trip in a couple of weeks, so I'll probably use these. They do have the raised feet at the bottom. Sturdy gold hardware. Red interior. zip inside pocket and also this side has these slide in pockets where we like to slide our phone and things like that so nobody's going to be able to walk away with your luggage because your luggage will definitely look way different than all the other black luggages <laughs> and I had to do it I had to at least get me one I had to get me one <laughs> And excuse it because I did get the medium size Telfor. Um, of course, it's going along with my color scheme, you know, tan on down to off white. So I purchased this medium one. I have my notebooks in here and a couple of books from the last trip that I went on. 
It has the short straps and also the long straps. This is the medium sized tail four. And I definitely use this for a recent trip I went on. I also have a small black one coming. It's been on their pre-order list. Editing Renee, the video that you're actually watching was filmed around the beginning of May. And since then, um, this is the end of July, uh, I got my pre-order bag from Telfer. So I wanted to show you this just came in today. I did want a small black everyday bag. This is what the small size looks like. Same design as my cream or tan one. It's just so much smaller. Oh, I wish I could put my phone right there and show you, but I'm recording on my phone. So here's a, a wallet that I got off of Amazon or a wristlet purse. And that's the tail for a bag. So my phone can fit in it. It's just a square on the inside, um, no zipper pockets or anything like that. But you can carry it like this, or you can carry it as a crossbody. Pretty good room for just running around doing your daily activities. So that's what I purchased this one for, like an everyday bag. So it did come in. And again, they have a program where you can order any bag on the site. You just have to wait um, until they get all of their orders in and send them out. So, I don't know if I ordered in March, but this is July. And I did get the bag I wanted. I'm sure black is very, very popular. So, that's exactly what I wanted was a everyday black purse. So, other than that, these are pretty much all my handbags. Um, a couple of handbags that I purchased from DSW. I just purchased these so, because these were really my style. And it'll go along with my aesthetic. Plus, you know I like clutches. I like clutches. And this reminds you of little clutch bags. It has like the little bracelet at the top. You just put your hand in it and you have a bag. What I like about here is this is perfect for your phone. And you also get a strap on the inside. But I purchased these because this is definitely my go-to type of bag. If I'm just gonna run out, I love to have a little like wallet clutch bag. And they had these at DSW. Now, one of my um, one of my higher end bags <laughs> I purchased is finally I purchased the full bandolera. I think that's how they say it. I was just on their website the other day when they went live, and this is their crossbody utility bag. It goes like this. And you would have your phone right here. Also, it has snaps for you to put your cards in, but I'm recording on my phone, so that's why I don't have it. Or you can wear it on this side and let the pockets show. I'm standing up on my tippy toes so you can see the full bag. Love this bag. It is the black with the gold hardware. But this will definitely be used when I'm on travel. I can put my glasses in here, my cards in here. I also have another option right here. Now to a female owned company, these bags are a little more reasonable. Yeah, I got two of her bags 
that's the name of the company these are um vegan leather so you know what that means so i got the gray haven't even used it yet but i got the gray with the silver hardware you see it's got the raised feet on it long strap and i think i have seen some people move all the straps to one side and carry the bag like this as well so we'll see but i think they've been doing it like carrying it like as one anyway that's that one and i could not go without having a all black bag <laughs> cute little bucket looking bag vegan leather with the short strap fits right under here when i get ready to go back to work or go anywhere i can have my laptop or my ipad right here this one has like the pewter hardware it also has the race feet on it And I think, yeah, this one has a bag on the inside. So it also has, so I guess you can use this for a makeup bag or just a whole separate bag on the inside. So thank you for tuning in today to see all of my handbags and how I have changed my whole collection to predominantly black owned. I am so proud when it comes to luggage. I think I need one more piece and I need a rolling piece and I'm trying to decide which company I want to go to for that. But for right now, I still have my burgundy one from when I went to Egypt. I will see you on the next Rich Upload. Stay safe, Riches. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.